Hey guys, Time for Tech here. Today I'm here with a video about Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 rumors, release date, and news. First of all, I haven't been uploading recently. It's because I went on a surprise holiday and I didn't really feel like recording. Not that I could, but anyway, um, I didn't. So that's why I haven't uploaded in about a week. But anyway, let's just get into the video. So. Samsung have confirmed that it will announce the Tab S3 in September thanks to a listing on its support website, but when it exactly is currently unknown. Android tablets might feel like they're dying, but the latest rumours suggest that Samsung hasn't given up on them yet. Obviously, the previous tablet was a Galaxy Tab S2, and the S3, judging by the pictures that are released, seem to be quite similar looking to the S2, which is fine because I like the S2 look. Quite small, compact, stylish, but I just don't like the plastic um, on the tablet. So the three main things. What is it? It is Samsung's latest flagship Android tablet. Possibly it's out on September the 1st, maybe IFA 2016. And it's expected to cost £319, which is $399 US dollars, which is $499 Australian dollars. And it will be more formal, higher storage version. So that's just the base price. It's rumoured that there will be an 8-inch and 9.7-inch version of the tablets like there were for the Galaxy Tab S2, which would not which would make quite a lot of sense. Um, one rumour suggests it will have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 processor with 3GB of RAM, which is very, very good, 4,000mAh battery and 32GB of storage. Leak Benchmarks also gave the tablet a multi-core score of 4,275, which is lower than the Galaxy S7, but still very impressive. And also, um, rumours point towards it having an 8 megapixel rear camera and 2 megapixel on the front. The 2 megapixel on the front isn't that really good, but then again, you won't be taking a lot of photos with your tablet, especially if you're buying a tablet, you should have a foot. So for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2, it had a nice size, solid build, Android, um, which is very good, and excellent connectivity and it had a laggy, laggy performance, weak battery, poor camera, and lack of optimizations. Hopefully some of these will improve, especially the weaker battery and laggy performance. So the weak camera will still be quite, will still be there, considering it's eight megapixels and two megapixels. But anyway, that's just what I think might happen, and these are some of the rumors that I found online. So if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe.